Cross River State is a vibrant and culturally diverse region located in the southern part of Nigeria. The state is home to various ethnic groups with distinct traditions, customs, and languages. The people of Cross River State take great pride in their rich cultural heritage and are known for their warm hospitality and welcoming nature. Odupani Local Government is one of the 18 local governments in Cross River State. Situated in the Southern Sanitorial District, it boasts a rich geographical landscape of rainforest, swamps, plains, creeks, and hills. About 5% of the population live in riverine areas. 30% live in poor terrains only accessible by motorcycles and bicycles, while the remaining 65% reside in suburban and urban settlements. Farming and fishing serve as the mainstay occupations, and the population is predominantly composed of the ethics and cause, a people known for their rich cultures and elaborate festivals, such as the Ekpe and Akata masquerades, as well as their traditional music, festivals, and cuisine. But beneath the surface, there are concerns about the immunization rates and the health of the community's children. Researchers have conducted studies to understand the vaccination rates and barriers to immunization in the area. Several research studies have highlighted the reasons why women in Odupani may refuse to immunize their children. These reasons include a lack of awareness about the importance of vaccines, misconceptions and myths surrounding vaccines, fear of adverse reactions and cultural or religious beliefs. These factors contribute to low immunization rates and pose significant risks to the health of children in the community. While coming here, it was a bit uh, stressful, and I think this is one of the challenges the women are facing in order to bring their children here for immunization because the place is not really uh, mobile. Getting here is very, very stressful. With only 47 primary health centers operating in the local government, Many who are willing are often unable to access quality health care and government-sponsored immunization campaigns in the region. As for me, along the line, she didn't come, so I live home for like three months plus. But when I came back, man told me, sometimes I will check the time schedule, and when I come to the new doctor, The consequences of not immunizing children can be severe. Unvaccinated children are more susceptible to preventable diseases such as measles, polio, diphtheria, and tetanus. These illnesses can lead to long-term health complications, disability, and even death. When a community has low immunization coverage, there is an increased risk of outbreaks and the spread of infectious diseases. Recognizing the importance of immunization, the Cradle Care Initiative a dedicated team of healthcare professionals and volunteers, through funding from DeepRise and IREX, has been working tirelessly to overcome the barriers to immunization in Odupani, particularly in communities like Cricktown and Adiabo Efuk. Ensuring that children in the community receive the necessary immunization to protect their health. This journey has been one of compassion, education and community empowerment and the impact of the Cradle Care Initiative has significantly improved the immunization uptake in Odupani. But it has also faced various challenges along the way. It was really a struggle coming here. The roads are very whiny we, um, and also hilly. Um, but we feel that, we believe that by the time we start our project here, there's so much, there's so much um, we can do, you can just take a look at the facility. We they give immunization for our health center tomorrow. No forget to carry your picking combo. Mama, Papa, and picking. We had a low coverage, but since you people came, the cradle care came to the facility with incentives, and um, it has uh, fully increased our coverage for immunization. Despite these obstacles, the Cradle Care Initiative has made significant strides in raising awareness, providing education and medical incentives to the community.
one, PCV one. Awa, OPV one. Say ye me. In any you got ten weeks. Ekma ye penta two. PCV two, OPV two. No let them deceive us or tell you say if you carry your picking go do immunization, your body go out for night. Normally, picking body no go out. You go out, and if you out, you go still calm down. The impact of the Cradle Care's initiative efforts have been noteworthy. Through community engagement and sensitization programs, the initiative has gradually increased immunization rates in Nodupani. But there is room for so much more to be done. First of all, I want to say thank you to Gradle Care. They have done so much. In fact, I had low rates immunization, immunization coverage. But I so much thank God that immediately this Gradle Care came in, things have changed. The falters are coming back. Those that have not been immunized before, they are back to take their immunization. And Gradle Care has impacted a lot of goodies to my people especially mothers. Those that have completed their immunization, they went home with a parcel. Those that are starting, they went home with a parcel. The defaulters have been encouraged because they went home with a parcel. I want to use this medium to say thank you and thank you and thank you.